Kleinfeld was involved in a um, project for the city of Waco uh, on uh, refurbishing some of the uh, rails and safety structures uh, along some of the cliffs in Cameron Park. Uh, Cameron Park has a, a distinction of being perhaps the second largest municipal park in the country, uh, being second only to Central Park in New York City. Uh, it was uh, given to the city by a benefactor uh, from the turn of the century and so has now um, been a, a source of recreation for uh, the city of Waco citizens uh, for about a hundred years now. Uh, the cliffs themselves are quite high. They're limestone bluffs overlooking the Bosque and the Brazos Rivers. And, uh, of course, they're a, a, an attractive nuisance. People want to crawl out on the ledges to get a better look over the, over the edge. And then, of course, the brave souls want to try to climb them. Uh, part of the problem uh, at these uh, cliffs was the fact that the scenic view was nice, but the rock itself, uh, through years of weathering and uh, um, uh, and undercutting in places was very unstable. Uh, rock falls from the top would often consist of ledges collapse, collapsing and in the one case resulted in a fatality uh, for a young man. Uh, the hazard from the bottom is that a very nice uh, hike and bike trail ran along the river beneath the cliffs and so rock falls from above posed a hazard uh, to uh, hikers and bikers along that trail. Uh, Kleinfelder, uh, the local office, uh, was responsible for uh, much of the oversight of the project, but we brought in the team from Seattle's uh, office for rock mechanics and, and rock engineering. Uh, this would be Bill Gates and Chad Lucarilla. Um, they came out and did rock face analyses, mapping the rock faces along the cliffs by rappelling off of them. Uh, they measured the attitudes of uh, bedding as well as other dis discontinuities and put together a, a model of, of rock failure uh, for three different segments of the cliffs along the, uh, the Bosque and Brazos rivers. Uh, from these, uh, they also looked at uh, the rates of weathering uh, that might occur and were able to make an estimate of how rapidly uh, the weaker layers of rock would weather uh, and so lead to the development of ledges and the potential for uh, collapse at the top. Uh, based on uh, the investigations that this group did, they made a series of recommendations to the prime contractor, which was Jacobs uh, Engineering, and um, from that, of course, the design resulted in a newer, safer, and much more attractive uh, set of fences that did not impair visibility uh, for, the, for the beautiful scenery over the river valley and uh, also kept people back a safe distance uh, and hopefully from, from future harm.